Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to welcome you to, I think it was the third meeting on the Elliott Street School, the Elliott School and the Elliott Innovation School. Sorry. Um, on behalf of Superintendent Tommy Chain, Principal Leader Tommy Welsh and I are here to welcome you to this meeting. Uh, I'm going to stop talking very quickly, but I just want to acknowledge that we have the North End Waterfront. Is that correct? Northendwaterfront.com blog. Yep. That com that is filming, so if you have issues about that, you might want to speak to him or what have you. Uh, but I'm going to get going. This is a construction update. So we're very excited about that. I'd say my name is Carlton Jones, Director of Capital and Facilities Management for Boston Public Schools, and we're here to move forward with this project. So without further ado, I'm going to point you to the project manager, short there, Mr. Brian Amelia. Yes, thank you, Carlton. Uh, I want to acknowledge uh, uh, Trish Lyons, the director of my department. She's my boss. Uh, Brian here also is assistant director. Nancy Goodwin is the architect, and of course John Mansfield is the clerk on the job. I'm sure many of you have seen him out there and many times. Um, so tonight what I want to do is um, uh, just give you an update, a brief update on the schedule itself, where we are today, uh, where we're going, and uh, the goals for the next couple of months. Um, as you can see where we are today is that there's steel being erected in the building. Um, you know, over the last couple of months we've put in the uh, foundations in concrete. Um, and now the steel eruption is going in, so you probably saw some uh, uh, road closures, some um, cranes being in the streets, and the steel going up. So that process, as you know, is a complication. Uh, it's a very complicated construction job, and um, we're really trying to hit the road running now, trying to get it done before the snow flies. You know, we're trying to get the building tight, wrap it all up. But um, I just want to go over a couple of the impacts that we've talked about. Uh, and the traffic management plans. Um, over the next couple of months, you'll still see some road closures <clears throat> on Salem Street, Tileson Street. We're pretty much wrapped up on the North Bennett side. The staging's down, the masonry's done. We do have some punch list items on that side. Um, but during the interim over the last couple of months too, Boston Water and Soil was in there doing a project which made it a little complicated in itself. Um, so they ripped up the street, they put in new water lines. Uh, we actually took advantage of that shutdown of that street and did some work on uh, North Benedict as, as well. So even though it was uh, difficult for the neighborhood, difficult for the abutters, um, it worked out for the benefit of getting everything done all at once. Um, so that was, uh, that was beneficial. Uh, the utilities uh, are pretty much wrapped up. Over the last month or so, we've been on Salem Street and uh, we've been putting in new water lines, uh, new electric service, new gas service. Um, and I think we're wrapped up, we just wrapped up pretty much this week. We do have Verizon as the last utility coming in, and they'll be coming in hopefully the, within the next month or so. Uh, Verizon's pulling their permits now so we can get that street opening. But for the most part, Salem Street should be in very good shape with the utilities. And that also includes Tileson Street. We did Tileson Street work as well. Uh, so we had some shutdowns there. So utility work is done. Um, Monday, we're starting to stage uh, Salem Street. So Salem Street for the masons and some window work will be staged starting on Monday. Uh, that will basically impact the sidewalk in front of our building on Salem Street. So any walkers will be bumped to the other side, similar to what we did on uh, North Bennett Street, um, until we get the duration of that work done and completed. And that may be up for a couple months, John, give it to you. So two months, okay. two months, we're looking at two months to keep that sidewalk on our side closed. But um, we'll have full access um, on Salem Street. Um, and it's my understanding too, our permits run from seven to four. So during the day, residents are not allowed to park on that side. But after four o'clock, they can take advantage of the parking, overnight parking on Salem Street. So because that uh, stage just goes from the, the front of our building onto the sidewalk so you can have street parking back, which I know is frustrating for when we take parking space to the north end, so you can give that back. So that's what we're doing. That's going to start on Monday, the erection of the staging. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we are doing next year, next spring, maybe in the summer, all new sidewalks are on the perimeter. Of course, you know, we ripped up a lot of the sidewalks for the new utilities. But uh, when it's all said and done next year, so there'll be some disruptions with the sidewalks because we're replacing uh, curbing, raising curbs, and uh, all new sidewalks. That's going to be a great uh, benefit to the uh, school. 
Um, like I mentioned, steel is going up now. Um, there's still some masonry and work. We're really trying to take advantage of good weather and uh, you know, do a lot of the roof work, the mason work, and uh, the finishing some of the foundations uh, regarding the steel panels. Uh, once it's all closed in, we've got some windows uh, scheduled to come in as well um, later on uh, in a couple months. And then once the building's tight and weather tight, of course, we're going to start framing and really uh, kick it in gear. Framing out the walls, running the electrical, plumbing, HVAC, really uh, you know, trying to get that going as quick as possible. Um, we did run into some unforeseen when we're doing the foundation work, which is typical for this uh, part of the, uh, the city. Um, but we, we got beyond that, they're all completed, and uh, we lost a few weeks doing that. So we're going to accelerate the schedule once we get the building closed in with the trades. Once the trades come in here, we'll be looking to work, um, you know, maybe second shift, maybe even some Saturdays. But we want to minimize the noise for the about us because I know it's frustrating in the job. Like anything else, like any other construction project is very frustrating in itself uh, with the noise and some dust. So. Uh, we want to really keep it to a minimal um, impact. Um, so, let's see. We'll still be using Tileton Street as a delivery method for the project. We have a traffic management plan in place, and we've got authorization from the city. We've got details on the job constantly, so a lot of times the trucks will back up Salem, uh, excuse me, uh, Tileton Street to make deliveries to the job site, that small parking lot in the back. Um, we saw that as the best approach without impact in North Bend, which is a much busier street and Salem Street as well. So um, we, we find that's the best location, even though some, sometimes it can be frustrating as well. But we try to just uh, to impact uh, from Salem Street to um, Wiggins. Is it Wiggins? The little section there. So people can still come down and go out um, tiles the street if needed from the China School, uh, China Street, I should say. Um, Let's see, what else? So we're still on target. We have, um, even though we're behind a little bit, we're going to accelerate the schedule and maintain our target date of an opening of uh, September of 2016. Um, and that's, uh, that's what we're driving. We're pushing the contract to do that as well. So I think that's pretty much it that I have for now. Like I said, over the next couple of months, we'll be wrapping up the exterior, trying to close it in and then running with the interior to get all those classrooms built out and, and library and computer, computer labs and so forth. So that's about it. Shall I turn it back over to Carlton? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Any concerns? I'm sure there's a lot of concerns. Would you, uh, would you say that we are past them? that part of the project has the most impact on the neighborhood, or do you think that we still so, have, huh? Very soon. Very soon. After yeah. you get done with the steel, and yeah. the, the masonry work, you know, everything goes inside, so yeah. other than delivery of materials, yeah, I think. Uh, you have indoor construction, do the winter, windows close, you have less of yeah. an impact noise-wise, glass and all that stuff. Noise and dust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. Yeah. By this winter, that'll be yeah. the noise yeah. and dust. So you think what, you got another couple of months? Yeah, I would say so because, you know, for example, uh, John, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we have, do we have over 600 pieces of steel yeah, like in this building to be um, yeah. delivered and installed. So a lot of the deliveries are being put in the back, but the big pieces will be coming up on Salem Street. Now, we did shut down with a crane a couple times, different picks, but we kept the sidewalks open so people visiting the North End Church and whatever could still access that. Yeah. didn't impact the uh, commercial district as well. So. It, it was great to see because we weren't sure how that was going to go. So we were happy to see that we could maintain the access. So we still have a couple more picks for the steel. Um, and those are the biggest things. And it's, it's a difficult erection project because of the tight constraints. Um, yeah, the building's already, the answer, you already have to shove, you have to get the material so on the side. Exactly. And have to tighten it when you're on. Right. And so you can't it's, really use a crane either. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you were out in the big field, you guys have all seen how they can erect a building pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. But with this job, it's more of a rigging job, a rigging and pulling job, where they have you know different uh, pieces of equipment in the building to manage that. It's a lot slower than any typical project. Uh, so we're working around the existing shell, temporary shoring, which uh, which slows down the project. But um, you know we're, we're looking to accelerate that as well with different crews. You have an erection crew, you have a detailing crew that's coming come in, and, and they'll hit them from both sides. So 
you know, that's our, that's our goal. The roof coming off will probably be the biggest impact as far as that, that demo. Mm -hmm. That'll be, that could be dirty or dusty, but that's the only upcoming yeah. thing. So the, so the worst is almost behind us. Yeah. yeah, I would say, you know, we're over that hump. And, uh, you know, there'll, there's still some more impacts to the abutters and the neighbors, but, uh, you know, you know, I think most of the people in the abutters have John's number. Uh, there's some flyers that we post in the neighborhood, and uh, it's ready for an update. Uh, it's just a construction update, and, and my, you know, my number of John numbers is on it as well. So, you know, anytime, feel free to call me, call John, um, so we can address any concerns you may have. Anybody else? We're really excited. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm excited too because I was involved with 585 uh, phases one and two, and um, I know that's worked out well for Tracy uh, and those kids, and that's a great that's a great goal. And I just for us as a as a school that's growing, that um, Mayor Walsh has you know supported this. Uh, we have a new superintendent, Dr. Chang. Um, you know, it's a lot of moving pieces, but. You know, PFD has been amazing and supportive, and you know we continue to. Our neighbors are the are the ones that are are suffering at times, and you know that's why you know as we continue to update it and make sure that if there are any questions, obviously you know where I live. I run between two buildings, um, and you know you can ask parents that you just need to connect. Um, Brian has been and John both very responsive when I ask, and NorthEndWaterfront.com is. They'll post meetings, Maria Lanza. Um, so we're, you know, we're super excited for the, the next phase and, and getting it done by September 2016. I think it's awesome. That's right. Thank you. No, it's uh, it's like I mentioned, it's a very complicated project um, and, and a difficult project, especially you know when you're working in a tight environment like the North End. But uh, we're all we're all excited about it. John's John's here daily, uh, and we have another clerk out there. We've got two clerks actually to help support this building and um, we're only, only a phone call away so any concern feel free to call and the architect's office is two blocks away too so right. we can practically see it from our window and we Nancy, love working in the neighborhood yeah nancy's it's right great. on north washington street she's got a nice office up there on the top floor so <laughs> it's uh it's great anybody else all right thank you thank you, thank you.